So today I'm going to show you and talk about a hack squat. Now, this is not that shiny piece of equipment that you see in your gym. Check it out. Okay, so what's a hack squat? Well, we're not talking about the hack squat that you see in the gym. This is actually an old school barbell move that was created by George Hackschmidt way back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. He was a, uh, a wrestler, world renowned Greco Roman champion, and was looking for an effective way to work his quads. Now, the reason why I like the barbell hack squat is because it just takes a barbell, very little equipment. Now, a lot of times in the gym, you see the, the hack squat machine uh, in, in your gym, usually next to the leg press. That's not what we're talking about here. The reason I like this, besides minimal equipment, is it, it's something that doesn't uh, require fancy setup, which is perfect for people who train in a home gym or if you're in a commercial gym and the squat rack's taken, you know, all the equipment's being utilized, it's like, hey, you can just do these barbell hack squats. So let me show you what they are. So let me show you this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a shoulder width, just outside shoulder width grip on the bar. Obviously your arms have to slide uh, down your legs. Uh, stance is just about shoulder width as well. You can keep that back nice and neutral, nice and flat. And uh, same with your neck, looking straight ahead about uh, actually 10 feet in front of you. So it looks similar to a conventional deadlift uh, if you're looking at it from the side. Now, if you want to, you can also uh, work this right off the floor here. So um, like I said, minimal equipment acquired. Just put those heels right up against the barbell. Again, same stance. Just bend down and pick that thing up. And you'll notice it comes right to about the, the base of your glutes. And that's by design. Um, you know, it, it might feel a little awkward at first. It slides just right up your uh, your hamstrings there, uh, but you leave those quads unlocked a little bit, and, and it really continues to put the tension on there. You can get a real nice burn uh, going in those in those quadriceps when you do these. So the hack squat, obviously, it's a lower body exercise, primarily hitting the quadriceps. Now, as a secondary emphasis, it also hits your posterior chain, which is your, your glutes, your hamstrings, your back. Also, it's a very good exercise to help with that grip. Now, if your grip is your weak link, go ahead, don't be afraid to use straps or chalk if your gym lets you. That way, you don't have to give up on a rep that would continue to help improve your quads, but your grip is failing. However, again, I would try to strengthen that grip as much as you can. Now, if you do this out of a rack, I would recommend you step forward like this. It's just a little safer. Uh, and then that way, when you, when you get done with the exercise, uh, you just step backwards and you know where the rack is and so you can safely rack it. But you can see in this stance here, again, everything is parallel to the floor, 90 degree angles, you know, shoulder width, uh, stance, grip. You could vary that stance a little bit. You could come in a little narrower if you wanted to as well. Another nice thing about these barbell hack squats is they're very little uh, there's very little stress on that lower back. So you, you probably don't need to wear a belt at all. Um, what's nice about it is, you know, you can even superset uh, another exercise or pre-exhaust with something like leg extensions and then go into those uh, barbell hack squats. And it really gets those quads fired up with, like I said, very minimal stress on the lower back. So if your lower back is acting up, this might be a good option for you. In this video, you notice I have flat shoes, but you could use a raised heel shoe like this. Uh, if you lack ankle flexibility, hits the quads a little bit. Uh, if you don't have those shoes and you have the same issues, just put your feet up on a plate here. And uh, again, same, same thing. Uh, you could uh, get a little bit more emphasis on the quads and could help make up for that ankle mobility. Uh, and obviously, the more you raise your heel, the more this is going to make an impact. Here's another angle. Again, you see that uh, everything is uh, nice and, and symmetrical as far as the stance and pushing those knees out a little bit, focusing on those quadriceps. Again, keeping that bar uh, even parallel with the floor, um, arms just outside thighs, and uh, everything's nice and neutral. Again, keeping that head neutral 
And it helps to, on this exercise as well, I like to do a, a slower uh, eccentric, really fill those quads, lower that weight, even pause it at the bottom for a second. One thing to note here, you'll notice that I'm using 25s on this bar. I mean, I'm all of five foot four, so I'm not extremely tall, but uh, you're probably gonna wanna use smaller plates anyway. Uh, it's not a, an exercise you're going to need a ton of weight for, especially if you pre-exhaust it. But you don't want that that uh, those plates clanking on the floor, so just use that and adjust accordingly. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, share it, and I appreciate it. And if you have any other questions on training, nutrition, whatnot, feel free to email me at the link below or uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Until the next time, keep making everyday count.